In August of 1978, the skies over Augusta welcomed a celebrity, the Goodyear Blimp. The well-known tire company loved to market its slow-floating billboard with its panoramic aerial views at football games and big events. And Augusta had one that week, the grand opening, August 3, 1978, of the Augusta Mall. They based it at Bush Field, and because it was here, they continued a very positive marketing campaign by giving reporters like me rides. It was great. Comfortable and shady, you had a sense you were sitting in a porch swing. There was a gentle rocking motion, but not frightening at all. And it was truly amazing to look down and see our town as we slowly passed overhead. Most of us had flown over in airplanes. Some of us had flown in helicopters. But a blimp, that was something else. In a blimp, the pace is slower. It's almost like walking, except you're up in the air. You look down on the old streets, and suddenly the patterns make sense. You also can react to the people down below you. We flew over a golf course. A guy was about to take a shot, and the shadow of the blimp suddenly passed over his head. He stopped his swing, looked up, and pointed us out to his foursome. The Goodyear blimp was a star of that era. They had even been featured in a movie the year before, Black Sunday, in which a deranged pilot tries to crash the Goodyear blimp at the Super Bowl. But that was just for the movies. A blimp really wouldn't crash, would it? Four weeks later, guess what happened? A summer afternoon storm that brought strong winds clocked at more than 50 miles an hour ripped the $1 million Goodyear blimp from its moorings at Bush Field. The wind flipped the giant airship upside down, smacking it into the ground and causing it to deflate. Tom Plaskinak, the blimp's assistant chief pilot, told the Chronicle he watched it all happen out the window of his nearby motel room. Plaskunik said there hadn't been a blimp crash in 20 years. You're not supposed to say things like that. The first rule of fortune is speak no evil. Too late. On the 4th of July, 1979, in Mount Pleasant, Iowa, the Mayflower was ripped apart by violent winds. This time, it was not only a total loss, but the Associated Press reported it knocked out someone's corn crop. The Mayflower never recovered and is no longer with us. But not the Goodyear blimp. They still fly over Augusta. Look up sometime, you might see one. They're awful fun to watch, and they're even more fun to ride in.